Welcome back to Good Day Columbia with last month's announcement of PayPal and Discover joining forces. We may start to see a leader emerge in the mobile marketplace. Here to help us sort all things out, our tech expert, Stephen Miano, owner of that computer store out in Irmo. Stephen, thank you so much for being here this morning. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. We're going to get straight to it. Okay, yes. Stephen, you know, in the last few years, we've seen an increase in years of, like, you know, a lot of people paying things with their cell phones. Yep. Now, is this the end of cash as we know it? You know, no. Cash is king. It's not going away. Uh, it's going to be here for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. But we have started to see a trend towards mobile payments. Um, there's big money to be made in this industry. And the problem we've had right now is a clear leader has not emerged. You know, with credit cards, you have the big three or four credit card companies. But the technology is all mm -hmm. the same. You have a credit card. You swipe it, yeah. you, know, you spend money. Uh, with mobile payments, there are just so many potential options right now. And nobody has picked um, a leader. PayPal getting in bed with Discover is, uh, it's gonna help uh, grease those wheels a little bit. Now what is exactly, what does this exactly mean, Rab, that this deal with PayPal and Discover? What are we looking at here? Well, interestingly enough, they're actually kind of skirting mm -hmm. the mobile payments thing. Uh, PayPal, as most of you know, is an online payment system. You can pay right. for eBay auctions, you can mm -hmm. pay for tons of websites online will accept Your PayPal. Your business owner, you can have that and just swipe mm -hmm. person's card. Yep, yeah. um, and okay. PayPal just recently launched their little credit card reader. You can swipe and, and get paid via mm -hmm. a smartphone. This, um, this partnership is, is a little bit different because it will allow existing merchants nationwide mm -hmm. to accept PayPal when before they couldn't because they didn't have the equipment to do it. Oh, wow, that's pretty interesting here. Yeah. So, you know, why Discover and not Visa? You know, it's everywhere you want to be. It is everywhere. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. accepted everywhere, in, like everywhere. Yeah, literally. The, you, honestly, the main, the main reason is um, Visa announced a partnership with Square. Um, Visa okay. has their, their own mobile payment initiative that mm -hmm. they're working on. Um, Discover is kind of the, the odd man out. You know, you've got Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and then Discover. Um, right, but the point. beauty of this is Discover is going to make a lot of money from transactions uh, for people, you know, using their PayPal accounts. Those fees, right? Right, right, right. And PayPal is going to get in the in front of thousands upon thousands of businesses oh, wow. without having to do much work at all. So it really is going to benefit both. That is pretty interesting. But, you know, but why would PayPal not just do it on their own? Like, you know, we start this, you know, hey, I, I don't need a credit card company backing us. Honestly, infrastructure. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm a merchant. Uh, and we take Discover at the store. Um, any yeah. merchant in Colombia that takes Discover in a, in a couple of months, they'll be able to take PayPal mm -hmm. without having to do anything. So PayPal doesn't have to spend any money in oh. get because that's what's making this hard for people. Is as a merchant, I don't want to spend a couple thousand dollars on new mm -hmm. credit card transaction terminals and new point of sale stuff. This way, PayPal is just you know once they they finish the little back end mm -hmm. software thing, they're in they're in the. Uh, in, in every store in the That United. is pretty interesting. And, you know, so we mentioned about the PayPal, mm -hmm. um, Visa mm -hmm. um, with Square. Now, yes. I actually had the chance to um, use that, actually. I was mm -hmm. somewhere and someone said, okay, give me a credit card. I was like, oh, okay. And I swiped it and yep. instantly I got an email, you know, like a confirmation yep. saying, hey, it was swiped. Now, are we going to see more of this? Because I remember Starbucks kind of we use that at the store. We that. actually use the PayPal has a very similar situation for merchants, okay. and we are using that at the store. You can come to the store, pay mm -hmm. with PayPal. We swipe the little reader. You get an email receipt. Uh, it's super fast for us. The fees are low. It's great for the for you because mm -hmm. you have better payment protection. PayPal is actually pretty aggressive about anti fraud stuff too. So. Um, Square is a yeah. good one. Uh, PayPal is a good one on the other side, you know, for, for merchants. So yeah, you're going to start seeing a lot more of this. And so really quick, Stephen, so we're talking about here um, security. What is someone's concern about, you know, PayPal and Square? It's secured. Um, I can't speak for Square, but okay. PayPal is an FDIC insured bank. For all intents and purposes, oh. it's a bank just like a brick and mortar bank. They just don't have a brick and mortar. So your money is yeah. safe. When, when my credit card, uh, when my debit card was stolen, Okay. I actually, PayPal was like, mm -hmm. okay, that you lost all this money, we're going to give it back to you until we get this all sorted out. So I had a really good experience with that. Not that I you know, want to lose my card again. Yeah, I but, understand. Uh, but so, so yeah, as far as protection and, and things mm -hmm. like that, PayPal is, is up in the top tier as far as um, anti-fraud protection. All right, our tech yeah. expert, Steven Miano, owner of that computer store in Irmo, giving us the lowdown on the good stuff with Discover and PayPal. Steven, thank you so much thank for Thank you that. for having me.